right guys, we're going to try a little evening sit here at a new place. Uh, we, on our way in, right over this hill, we've seen a deer, so probably going to try to sneak up on him or probably bust him out of here. We'll, we'll see. And this will be my first attempt at a saddle hanging hunt, so it's going to be an interesting, interesting night. Let's do it. guys, it's about 3 o'clock. Rusty and I are just getting set up. We came in at about 1.30 and saw a deer where we wanted to sit, so we kind of creeped over the hill and bumped her. It was just a doe and it took us a while to find a, two trees that we liked. And we're still pretty new to this, so it took us a while to set up and we wore all our clothes in and I'm just sweating. It's about 45 degrees, but man, my phone was in my pocket and it's just soaked. All my clothes are wet, like, still trying to figure out how to do this. Rusty's, first time for Rusty. Alright guys, it's Sunday, November 15th, uh, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Rusty and I are coming back to the spot we were at last night. Uh, we saw quite a few deer, um, Rusty was along the field edge so he could spot them way before I did, but we had one doe walk right under us, um, we're hoping a buck will do that. Then just had a few more across the, the little ditch here, so we got some footage of that, but uh, we decided, you know, with all the deer activity, we would try this spot again. I mean, it just seemed like deer were coming from all different angles. Uh, so today we got the uh, the west wind, so it's coming over us right into the field. So, I mean, if they get into the field, they'll catch our wind, but hopefully they're close enough to where, you know, it kind of stops them in a shooting lane and Rusty can get a shot. Um, and then as we were getting down last night, we finally saw what Rusty thought looked like a shooter, but I mean it was 535, we were out of camera light, I couldn't see through the camera. And, but So we hiked out of here, left our uh, our platforms and our sticks, and we just now got back set up. And Hopefully we can get it done tonight, and get a buck on film, so stay tuned.
Rusty, I'm gonna give a quick recap on the hunt. Oh, well. Second. Turn Second. your light off, would you? Yeah, so uh, just getting done with our, well, my second ladder sit, or uh, saddle sit. Not, uh, not terrible this time. Adjusted a few things, but we left our sticks and the platforms from the other night. So had to tear all that down tonight, but kind of started off, what, within 20 minutes, had a little buck behind us, a couple does here or there, and then had six of them right in front of us. Just, they knew something was up, but couldn't figure out what it was. One little half rack, but he didn't really give any of them deer any attention, so they must not be rutting yet. Or going into heat. heat. No, we got a bunch of coyotes near us. They're pretty loud. <clears throat> That's yeah, cool. We're gonna get out of this thick shit. Back to pick up. Yeah. All right, guys. It's a quarter to two, November twenty-second. Uh, got my wife Haley with me, and we're sitting on the ground over here, overlooking a pond or a runoff. I guess what you want to call it, whatever you want, and it's uh, where I had them four bucks this morning, so we came in this afternoon. We actually spooked a, a buck who was tending a doe right in the middle of the cornfield. He was a really nice one, but uh, we got a decoy out, and uh, we're just hoping we see something, so beautiful afternoon. Stay tuned. Here we go. Got one right across the fence up here. I think it's a uh, stubby. Seen him the other night. Two little spike bucks with him. I'm gonna try to grunt and get him over here, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Definitely stubby. He's coming in. right there. He'll be at uh, 85 yards. I'm going to try to get the camera out of position. Or I think he'll come for the shot.
was like straight in front of me at probably 40 yards, never turned enough. Thought about just taking the shot, but it, it wasn't worth a shit. Now he's fucking snorting weed and I'm blowing the place up. How's it going, guys? November 30th. It's a Monday. Super calm out today. Colder than it has been the previous couple times the guy's been out. Highs are like in the mid 30s is all this whole week, maybe mid 30s to 40. So definitely a colder nights are colder for sure too. Sitting down here where I've sat quite a few times. Uh, got the decoy out on this point stand. Uh, wind is out of the northwest, five mile an hour is about it. So it's pretty damn calm. Um, Got this week yet before shotgun season, and then uh, obviously later on after after all the shotgun seasons, a guy can be out yet. But really hoping we can seal the deal tonight. Last time I sat at this stand, I had a buck come into 30, one that I wanted to shoot, and he uh, my wind swirled and he winded me, and he just took off, uh, came straight at me, so I never had a shot at him. But hoping tonight we can kind of replicate that same. That same deal and hopefully get them close enough to make a shot. So see what happens. Here we go. So I think this buck came through the neighbors across the ditch and the neighbors here. I think it's a buck we call little Jim. He's probably 300 out right now. He's kind of working away from me. A pretty decent eight point. Big body. I mean, the rack's not huge, huge by any means, but he's just, he's a decent buck. Been trying to call and grunt and shit, and he won't come in, but I'm going to keep trying here, so. See if he comes my way. He's probably about 300 yards now, but he's a good one, for sure. sees him. It's just a matter of will he jump over here to investigate him or not. Here he comes.
being in it. Oh my gosh, God, he is right below me. Wow, guys. I just screwed up big. I'm pretty sure that was a buck that we call 50 in Windy. I saw him down here last year one time and wind was blowing 50 mile an hour and it was windy and rainy and had him at 50 yards and couldn't make myself pull the trigger on him. Just not a shot that I'm comfortable taking. So tonight he finally worked his way in from the neighbors. He come out, had a little meeting with a buck that we call Old Jim. Old Jim went north into the timber and 50 was out feeding with some does and I grunted and rattled and wheezed and did everything and he finally started working his way towards me. I then had a small little fork buck come on our edge of the, our side of the fence right in past my decoy and right at that time my battery died on the camera. So I change the battery, 50 jumps a fence, 60 yards straight in front of me. He walks into about 30. I draw while he's looking at that other buck and my decoy. Walks straight under me, I'm gonna say less than 10 yards, 10 yards, and I'm on him. And I'm, I make a little grunt to see if he'll just stop, pick his head up and he doesn't stop and I just right into his shoulder is where I hit him. He runs 20 yards, arrow falls out of his shoulder. He stands at about 40 looking back at my decoy wondering what the heck happened. Flinch in his shoulder and then he walks off to the east. This is what bow hunting is sometimes. It sucks. Pretty much everything went right there except he didn't turn broadside sooner. Probably the biggest year we have on camera, so I was heart was pumping and racing and just made a bad shot. I'm sick to my stomach right now. I just I'll go see what I see with the arrow and I'll film a little bit of that here on my way out and we'll see what happens here. There's my boom knot. Stay tuned.